Hey, this is Matthew Morgan one more time. Just wanted to remake this video because it seems my other YouTube channel got erased or something. I don't know. I just know I didn't erase it, but it is what it is. Here's the thing I want to say. For people that go to church and you take younger people to church, stop trying to lie to them and force them to do things they don't want to do and then when they tell you they don't want to do it you try to lie and say god told me to tell you to do it or i was told by god you have to do this this is your calling and stuff like that stop lying to people and telling them that god told you to tell them that they have to do it or they're going to get punished or they're going to go to hell or something like that if he really wanted him to do it, he would have asked him and not forced him. Because <sighs> here's the bottom line. People only want you to do stuff because they themselves don't want to do it anymore. But because they know you don't respect them or like them, they're going to lie to you and say, God told you to tell them to do it. So... Y'all need to stop lying and just tell the truth. Just say, I, I wanted you to do it, but I know you don't like me, so I'm just asking you because I want to get it done. And all this lying, saying God told someone to do some stuff is not helping nothing. Just tell the truth and say that you want them to do it. <sighs> Whew. Like, stop lying to people and telling them that God told you to tell them when you know darn, darn, <clears throat> darn and damn well he did not say that. You want them to do it because you want them to do it. You only use God to get them to do it because they're taught to fear God. So you try to force them to do it and say he wants you to do it. In reality, you want them to do it. I'm pretty sure they'll be a lot more open to do it if you're just honest with them. But if they're not, oh, well, Jesus don't force nothing. He'll ask you once or twice. If you don't want to, then he's not going to force it. People only force things because they want it done. Jesus is not going to force you. If Jesus want to tell you, yeah, he might ask someone to ask you. But at the same time, he's not going to force nothing. He's not a dictator. He don't force people to do anything. If you want to do it, if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, that's why you got free will to say no to stuff. Plus, people in church only like the young people to do stuff so they can get praise for ha for getting the young people to do it. That's not God. That has never been God. That never will be. The only reason the old people keep asking young people to do stuff is because it makes the old person look good. And they also fear going to hell if they can't get the young person to do that. And they also fear looking bad in church in front of people who they've been so-called friends with for, year, for, <clears throat> for years. So just so you know, you're not doing God's will. You're doing people's will. People that fear God are trying to force you to do something that you don't want to do. But they say God told me to tell you as a way to get you to do it without question. Just so you know that. God didn't tell him to tell you anything because if he did, he, he would have said it very, he would have said it very lovingly and without force. And he knows he asked you because he made you to do it, but if you don't want to, he's not going to force you to. He understands why you don't want to. So people ask you that God said that, ask him, why is God forcing me to do something I don't want to do? I thought God understood why I didn't want to do it. They're just telling you you're going to go to hell or get punished because they want praise for you doing it. And they want to look good in front of the church and in front of God who don't really care about it. But just so you understand. Plus, when you older people were young, they got forced to do stuff and they didn't want to do it. But they had no choice. So now that they're older and we came after them, now they don't want us to have a choice but to do it because they didn't have a choice. Repeating that past mistakes is how people get in trouble all the time in this world. Or say that again, repeating past mistakes is how people get in trouble all the time in the world. And God's up here like, first of all, I never told you to tell that person to do anything. And if I did tell you to do it, I never said force them. I gave them free will for a reason. Ask them to do it. There's no force coming from me. 
if I wanted the force to be done, I just snap my fingers and everyone would do what I say when I want it done, how I want it done, and where I want it done. But it's obvious I don't force no one to do nothing because I allow you to do what you want. The, the one little times I ask and people still don't want to do it, I'm like, all right. I just pass it to the next person. I understand you're going through something where you just don't want to do it. I understand. So stop forcing people and then lying to them and telling them God told them or told you to tell them to do something because you know he didn't. And if he did, it will. And if he told you to tell him, it will be in a loving, not forceful type of way. So just so you understand that, I'm out. And yet they, they fear God and his punishment of them if they don't get you to do it what he's so-called as, or they fear looking bad in church or in front of church people. That's why they force you to do it. They're trying to look good in front of humans and God, but yeah, all right, I'm out.